of European citizens' health. Thank you very much. And next speaker is Mr. Stadler. Herr Präsident, ich habe heute President, I voted in favour because uh, the reproach is that the big things are dealt with in too great detail and the other way around. I think it's absolutely wrong to interfere with the private lives of individual citizens. This is not what the citizens want. This is reflected in the 85,000 uh, possessions uh, stated in polls which we've heard about. I would agree with Mrs. Angelili. It's only the uh, black trade and smugglers which will be affected by these measures and nothing else. We will not get the sympathy of the citizens by putting in place such uh, a directive. The citizens of Europe don't want to be told how to live their lives. This is a completely unnecessary uh, uh, directive which is being rejected by the general public. Uh, the European Parliament has once again shown that it's miles away from the uh, policies the citizens want. Mr. President, this directive is the very minimum that is required to prevent and deter a new generation of smokers. The Irish Government just this week produced an ambitious and comprehensive plan to make Ireland tobacco-free by 2025. This directive will be an important